Hello, hello, hello. You are tuning in to another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's topic. Remember what we were talking about, guys? Jeremy Fowler comes out to debunk Lamar Jackson wanting a fully guaranteed contract. You see what I'm trying to tell you? <laughs> so let me tell you how this all worked out. And we're going to also get into some other stuff with the wide receiver news that's coming out of Baltimore. So Jeremy Fowler comes out and says, okay, it has now been brought to his attention that Lamar Jackson did not want a fully guaranteed contract, but he did want the same guarantees as a Deshaun Watson with the contract having other additional but not guaranteed portions inside of the contract, meaning he did not want to go under $230 million guaranteed, but you could add more onto it if you wanted to. I'm going to show you all this real quick, right? I'm going to show you two sides of this real quick. So this is why this is funny to me, because one, it kept coming out that he won a fully guaranteed contract. And this is the same media that acted like they had the fast track for all the information. The way that they were critiquing this man was like they knew exactly. Even after it came out, right, that Lamar went to Stephen A, his camp, and said, look, I've only been offered $133 million guaranteed. That's the most they've given me or offered guaranteed. They still question him. Now they're having to backtrack on everything that they said. Now, when you're regarding to the point of, well, technically, that's it's not guaranteed. But that's just as much as Watson. Uh, you know what you do with something like that? You prorate it over six years. You understand? That's how you make that contract worth it for the team. This is why I keep trying to tell people there's ways to get this done. And that's not including the void years. You can add at the end. But let's just act like, you know what I'm saying, that, th that they weren't false this entire time. The media has been wrong the entire time. This is why I came on this platform so many countless times and have said, I'll trust what Lamar tells me. I'll trust what he tweets. I'll trust what he says. You know why? Because he has yet to have or be forced to retract any information that he has put out. Everything that he has put out has been on the up and up. They can't say the same thing. How many different reports and conflicting reports has Jeremy Fowler now put out on one name, Lamar Jackson? But he continues to put out the reports nonetheless, right? Oh. He doesn't deserve. He doesn't deserve the position that he's in. If you're not going to uh, uh, call good news, right? That's spreading a misinformation. Am I the only one that understands that? The spreading of misinformation. And there's another thing I wanted to bring up. And I really wanted to go through because I'm going to gel everything together. But the Ravens, I want you to understand this when it comes to the Ravens, Right? They're controlling their own narrative. That's how this works. That's how, that's how all of this works. They control the narrative that they want y'all to, to get, that they want us to get. So isn't it funny that all of a sudden that it's coming out, right, that the Ravens try to get DeAndre Hopkins. Oh. They tried to get Cortland Sutton. Oh. And they've also tried to get OBJ. Oh. But guess what? The Ravens try to get all the offensive weapons. As a Raven fan, we know that. Oh. And they never, ever get them. Do you know what they get? They get their little brothers or the discount version of the players that they just named. Oh. And we have to sit there. Sit there and smile like this. We're so happy that you're on the team. You're now a Raven. So happy that you're here. Go Ravens. Fly high. You're a Raven for life. That's what they want us to do. 
Look. Let me tell you why I have... Listen, if this happens, I'll be elated. Elated. I'll be one of the happiest humans in the world. But let me tell you why I'm not getting my hopes up for what I pre uh, previously said. Because the Ravens' track record speaks for itself. And... We've already seen the type of receivers that they are willing, or weapons that they're willing to bring in. Let's go down that list, shall we? Because some people seem to forget. Uh, old Des Bryant. Oh. A Deshaun Jackson. Oh. Willie Sneed. Oh. Demarcus Robinson. Oh. And now, I don't even want to say this other guy's name. Nelson Aguilar! Oh. That's who they're bringing in. That's who they've that oh I'm sorry and I forgot Seth Roberts can't forget him either that's who Lamar has had the gracious opportunity to be throwing the ball to look I've already said this already and I really want to make this to come out the Ravens' biggest problem is themselves. If the Ravens got out of their own way, we would already have won at least one Super Bowl within Lamar's tenure. But you know what the sad part about all this is? Let me, let me, let me even take this a step further. For a lot of people that doubt the information that we put it out. Let's just say God shines down his beautiful light on this team. And Lamar Jackson comes back for this team and on top of Lamar Jackson coming back for this team on top of them Extending him and him signing it. They get one of those receivers most notably a DeAndre Hopkins Okay, that would make us all be like this, right? Hallelujah. Right that make us all happy, but you know what if they would win that same year do you know what that would do? Do you know what it would prove? It would undoubtedly prove that they wasted five literal NFL seasons consecutively. <laughs> would I be happy? Of course. Whoa! Raise the roof! Raise the roof! Ra 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 raise the roof! I'd be so happy! But it would be a crux them because throughout all of the joy throughout all of the happiness throughout all the adulation you would have to admit that how did the Ravens who had who hasn't made it out of the divisional in years get this man a number one next to the rookie or not a rookie no more but next to their drafted receiver Bateman and they go out and win a Super Bowl that very same year it would show just the high level of incompetence that has been going through this team. We already know there's been a high level of incompetence because we've seen the, the grades that came out about certain places within the Ravens organization. You understand? We've already seen it. How do you get an F minus? That means you're throwing salt in the wound. F Minus, do you, I'm like I always tell you, I'm Jamaican. If I ever came home on my report card with an F minus, the way my mom would just box all of this side of my face off. Couldn't even call me Nitro. She would literally slap the N out of my name. I would just be called Itro, not even Nitro. Matter of fact, she'd probably knock off the knot. It would just be called Tro. And my dad would be sitting there like, hmm, you deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> That's what our Ravens did. So I, I'm, I don't understand 
the lock and step that so many Purple Patrol people be on. Because there's been so many reports coming out that the Ravens have lied, that they've injured players, that they don't surround Lamar with proper weapons, that they don't really want to pay Lamar what QB rates are going for. They want to pay him under it. Like, there's been too many ugh, for them to think that they're sitting on an all-white high horse. Get it? At what point? And that's, look, I want to reiterate this. I would be happy. I'd be so happy. But it would just prove and nail home the points we've been saying for how many straight seasons? You get where I'm coming from? Could you imagine how they'd be like, oh, all y'all do, I already know how Purple Patrol would do, oh, y'all can't even be happy in a championship. No. You guys would not even want to admit your wrongdoing because y'all would be like, oh, just be happy that we got a championship. No, we should have had multiple championships. You're willing to settle on one. If they go out right now and get him those weapons, if, if they say, Lamar, we're going to pay you and we're going to give you DeAndre Hopkins to pair with Bateman, right? And they go out there and they win. We win. We are record setting uh, off offense. And all type of stuff like that. <laughs> Think about, hey, I just want to make sure. Two of the quarterbacks that were throwing DeAndre Hopkins the ball has already got record-breaking money. One of them being Deshaun Watson. One of them being Kyler Murray. And the third, if we get him, would be Lamar Jackson. No one would bring that up, right? What did they do with a DeAndre Hopkins? How far did they go into the playoffs with DeAndre Hopkins? Could you imagine how the narratives would change overnight? Oh, yeah, we always knew Lamar was capable of this. <laughs> that arm of his, he has just a whip. Whoosh, a whip. When our problem comes along, you must whip it. Whoosh, whip it, God. That's what they would say. Oh, Lamar, you're so amazing. I tell you this right now. This is why I get so mad at the media because they're rarely held accountable for anything that they put out. They're allowed to put out worse than think piece, pieces. <clears throat> and what I mean by think pieces is opinionated, 100% opinionated with no facts in it, just conjecture, right? And then... Once that gets proven wrong, they can put out another one. And then another one. And then another one. And finally, if they do get one right, let's say out of 10, <laughs> I was right, and I give you the best news ever. Sickening. Absolutely deplorable. Do you have no shame? I was watching Anthony Richardson today, um, his, uh, his throwing and everything. I'm praying. I am praying that they don't try to blacklist, blackball, uh, box in that man's potential because he has such high potential. I already seen what they did with uh, like a unicorn like Lamar. Already seen it. A guy who has legit 4-3 speed at the quarterback position at 6-2. <laughs> so he's not even short. And he has a cannon. 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 I'm praying for that young man because after what I've seen in Lamar, my antennas are up when it comes to all of these athletic quarterbacks coming out of the um, the draft because a lot of times these teams want to and are willing to round hole square peg these players and ruin their careers and I think it's an injustice to the game it is it's supposed to be a meritocracy the best of the best play the best of the best perform and that's where it should end right there and then no more to be said. And that's another episode of the Wonder Kid Show. <laughs> I 
I want to say thank you. We have officially passed the threshold for 2,000 subscribers. Hey! <laughs> That's called hard work. And you can tell that to whoever you want. Thank you guys for supporting this platform. We are growing exponentially quick, and I, can, I couldn't do it without you guys. The reason why we're here is because of y'all. So thank you for the support. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the trust. The trust. More than anything else, thank you for that. Because you trust me to get the information from me. And more than anything else, I hold that in great esteem. So thank you. Thank you so much. And for the people that are first time watching this episode, thank you for watching. You can be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me, and you know I appreciate that. Please do remember, like, subscribe. Let's go for 5K, right? We're going for 5K, baby. And leave a comment, right? Just be cordial and no foul language in the comment section, and we have no problems. You know, people are going to have differing opinions. Just be respectful. That's all I ask. And if you would like to donate to this platform to help its growth, Right at the bottom of the screen is a QR code to a cash app. And you can also find the cash app in the description. Money sign, The Wonder Kin Show. And I want to make sure to remind everybody, the Patreon for The Wonder Kin Show is now available. Hashtag Team Wonderkin. With that, right now we only have one tier, right? That's available, just one. But that one tier includes um, uh, general support. It includes... Um, uh, questions from subscribers, and it also includes the uh, the Discord. We're going to create an entire Discord community where we can go on there and talk regularly every single day, 24-7, 365. It has already been made. I just got to send out the emails. to I, Right now, we have three patrons, and Bob, I got to send out the emails to everybody. And also in that tier, we'll be occasionally having a, a live streams that are only available to the patrons where we can question and talk uh, and just I'll just be answering your questions uh, rapid fire live. So once again, this is the Wonderkin Show, right? This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you guys knows my slogan, peace. And I am out of here. Yeah.